Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel, your go-to place for software made simple. In today's video, we are diving into SIF Analytics, a powerful financial reporting tool that transforms your accounting data into easy to understand, beautiful insights. So we will show you how to connect SIF to your accounting software, how to generate insightful reports, and of course, how to customize dashboards, collaborate with your team, and share reports with all the people involved. Whether you're an accountant, business owner, or just curious about smarter reporting, you're going to love how easy SIFT makes it. So let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do, visit the official website of SIFT. On the top corner, you have multiple options. You can log in using your credentials, click the Talk to Us option, but of course, the best option right now is to click the Try for Free. If you do, you will be forwarded here. To make the account creation a lot easier and faster, SIFT offers to sign up with your Google account, Microsoft, Xero, or even your QuickBooks. And then, after that, you will be forwarded to the main homepage of SIF Analytics. And to get started, you need to create your first entity by connecting any financial data source. So you have like a demo, consolidations, accounting, e-commerce, bank feeds, and connections. All right? So for the demo, or if you click the all, you have all these. Quick start, accounting, SIF, consolidation, and a lot more. So if you're not unsure from this step, or um, you don't have any access to any of these platforms, I want you to click the skip this step for now, all right? But it's very important to move forward. We need to choose any of the accounting softwares here or any of the quick start. In my case, I'm going to be using the SIF consolidation. Now you need to provide the entity name. In this case, I'm going to be choosing this. You need to choose the currency financial year end and of course click on the next button once it's added you will be forwarded here on the main home page of a sift on the left side is going to be some tools that we can explore okay now now let's talk about the home this is going to be the landing page after login all right it's displaying high level overviews or shortcuts to recent reports you can watch a video all right, so you can have the uh, favorite items here. Also, you have the access to the useful links. Now, the reports displays all of the central hub for creating and viewing financial and management reports. If you want to create a new one, I want you to click on it so you can create a template or any specific report. I'm going to create a template report right here so you can select the report. You can add content from categories below. Are you going to use a summary, visualize, for example, KPIs and account? Click this and add to the template. All right, it's very easy. Enter the name of your template, for example. Let's say in this instance, we're going to be using that. I'm going to click on done. All right. And then after creating the um, report, if you want to Complete the consolidation setup. You can do that here, but I'm going to skip that for now. I'm going back to the main homepage because we're going to discuss some of the few options in our um. Now on the top right is adding the entity. If you want to create an entity, you can do that using a financial data source. Again, if you don't have any of the following, you can skip that for now. And I want you to click the complete setup. But of course, before you can do that, it's a prerequisite to add your entity here, all right? Now here, we can add our logo. If you click on it, drag and drop your file here or click your, the browse section, all right? Now, if we click the top left corner about our account, there's going to be a section here that you can, if you wanted to chat to your account manager, you can book a time here which is going to be a direct way to speak with your dedicated SIF representative right so you can schedule a time to discuss your account usage tips or your billing right here now let's go back here 
Another option is gonna be if you wanted to get more insights about Ceph, go to the Knowledge Center. It's a library of help articles and tutorial videos that could give you answers to common questions or learn how to use new tools without needing to contact support. Not only that, you also have the access to the Ceph campus. It's one of my favorite here in Ceph because it's a training platform offering self-paced courses, helping users and individuals or entire team to learn how to use Ceph and related accounting software. Click the get started so that you would be forwarded to a new page, which is ideal for onboarding new team members or developing internal expertise over time. Enter your email so that you can join and learn from Ceph campus. Now, another option that you can explore is the live onboarding webinars. These are scheduled online training sessions with a live instructor to help new users get up and running with SIFT based on their specific business needs because you can get real-time guidance and can ask questions during the session. Some webinars also lead to certifications. It takes a little while. So at this point, if you're having problems accessing the SF Analytics website, I want you to use a VPN because Ceph Analytics is imploring a thing called geo restriction to some specific regions and areas. Now you can choose from any of the following. Some webinars also lead to certifications. Then there's going to be an option for the spreadsheet link for Excel. All right, from here. You can go to Microsoft App Source and click the Get It Now so you can connect all of these seamlessly. You also have the option for the spreadsheet link for Google Sheets, which is similar to the Excel link but for Google Sheets, enabling live data integration between Ceft and Google Sheets. It automates reporting workflows in Google Sheets using real time data from Ceft. All right, all I have to do is click the Install button. And then, now, right now, we're using their free plan, which is kind of like limiting at this point. If you wanted to upgrade to the next level, you can go with the standard. Coming around $90, you have to get all these. The plus plan is at around $39. And of course, the advance is at $79 per month. But the thing is, I want you to use their free trial for now. Get immersed with the platform. And of course, familiarize yourself with the tools and um, options here. And again, once you have done that, I want you to click the uh, complete setup. And of course, it requires for you to add an entity. With that, you need to choose your accounting software like accounting, Zero, and QuickBooks Online, Sage Accounting, and a lot more. All right, so you have all these Safe, Demo, and e commerce payments. And of course, the Bank Feeds Plus connections. And with that being said, and that's a wrap on our walkthrough in using Ceft Analytics. It stands out for its intuitive interface, seamless integration with platforms like Xero and QuickBooks. It's a strong emphasis on visual storytelling in finance, which is ideal for teams that want deeper insights without the spreadsheet overwhelm. So if you're looking to simplify your financial reporting process and add more value, to your business insights, Ceft is definitely worth trying out. Again, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. If you found this video helpful, do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss future how-tos just like this one. And remember, every tool is only as powerful as how you use it. So keep learning, keep exploring, and we will see you in the next video.